Hey guys, how's it going? This is Autobot JCB here coming to you with a brand new how to transform video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to transform the 2007 leader class Optimus Prime from the first live action Transformers movie. As you can see here, Optimus Prime's vehicle mode is that of a huge Peterbilt semi. Uh, what I want to do first is I actually want to show you a size comparison to Optimus Prime with the deluxe class Bumblebee from the same toy line. As you can see there, as you can see here, the uh, the size difference in these two characters is is actually pretty close to probably how it would be in the real world. Um, that's what I always liked about the uh, the movie toy lines is that they were they at least tried to get some of these characters uh, where they would be about, si about size accurate to real world vehicles. Um, and then what I also like is that um, whereas this is the primary um, paint scheme for Optimus, they did actually release a secondary version known as the Night Watch Optimus Prime. And as you can see there, he's got a really neat uh, bl uh, black, gray, and blue uh, repaint repaint for him. Um, personally, I think this could have made a good Nemesis Prime. That's my opinion. Um, I think they they did a really good job with the colors. Obviously, they uh, took some, like, they you have the flames on top of Optimus here, and they don't have the flames on the Night Watch version. Uh, either way, it's still a good, it's still a good paint scheme, and I think it's really cool that they uh, came out with more than one version. Um, I do know that for Megatron, um, if you actually go watch my Megatron video, that is actually the um, the repaint, I believe. Um, whereas that one has kind of a lighter uh, gray or lighter silverish gray and blue on it. There is another version of Megatron that is dark gray and he has like scorch marks from uh, like flying through the Earth's atmosphere and stuff like that. I have never been able to get my hands on it, but I would love to add it to my collection someday. Um, and then also, uh, I wanted to show you a comparison to the 2009 uh, Revenge of the Fallen Optimus Prime. So, and then both, like I said, uh, both of these, all of these guys are leader class figures. Um, now, in regards to uh, body design, I honestly like this one better because they made, they had, they did a lot, a lot better, making him more, more um, look accurate. Uh, compared to this one. This one was a great effort. It was a great uh, great release for the first movie. However, this design and then subsequent designs uh, were a bit better. So, But anyway, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go over a couple of features that, uh, this Optimi uh, that Optimus has while he's in his vehicle mode, and then we will get on to transformation. Now, if one thing you guys will probably notice is that I'm missing one of the smokestacks. Uh, yeah, I... Um, I accidentally knocked him off a shelf uh, a few months back, and unfortunately that broke off. Uh, it happens. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised that nothing else broke, uh, given the fact that this is a 15, 16-year-old toy. But either way, it's still a pretty cool figure. Um, now, one thing you'll notice right here on the top is you'll have a little button right here. And if you push that, you get a truck honking, and you get some lights, and and you get some lights on the on the um, uh, coming out of the windshield of the truck. Uh, one other thing I also think is pretty cool is the fact that where the gas tanks are, um, like on the um, okay, so for instance, on the uh, the 2009 Optimus Prime, the battery door is actually on the back side of the uh, cab of the truck. This Optimus Prime, his batteries are actually stored in the gas tank, and there's one battery on each side. So this is a battery compartment, and this is a battery compartment. Uh, personally, I think that was actually a pretty slick idea on how to, um, make it so he doesn't really have a whole, like a huge battery pack hanging off of him. And then if you turn him around, you'll notice that, uh, the blaster for his alt, for his alternate mode is right here mounted, uh, mounted on the back. Now this does actually come off and then you can remount it. It just snaps onto a little pin with this, uh, little connector right here. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and take that off for right now because we'll be using that later. And then, of course, on the back, you'll notice that he has, he has the um, the hitch receiver for if he's towing a trailer. Uh, I don't recall if they ever released a trailer for this version. Um, I do know that there is a trailer that they released for the, I think it was the Dark of the Moon re uh, version of Optimus. 
um, which could then be loaded up with a whole bunch of different weapons and accessories uh, that he could then be put on his, a display with. Uh, I can't remember what company came out with that, but um, I've seen pictures of it, and it's actually pretty cool that it, it can uh, turn into the um, uh, the mobile armory that he uses in Transformers Dark of the Moon. But anyway, to get back on topic, we're going to go ahead and jump into Transformation with, with Optimus. So the first thing we're going to do with this is we're going to come right here, and you're going to see that there's a panel right here and if you take, if you put your finger in this, uh, put your fingernail in this groove, you can actually uh, pop these panels open and just move them off to the side, just like this, on both sides. So we'll go ahead and pop that one open too, and just fold it off to the side. The next thing you'll want to do is we're going to come right here where the uh, hood of the truck is, and we're going to flip these up and flip them just like that because these are going to become Optimus Prime's kneecaps. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to come around back here. Now, this part can be a little tricky. Uh, I find that if you um, push up from underneath uh, right here and right here, you can actually get uh, these pieces to fold up onto the back. Uh, these, these two pieces right here to fold up onto the back of the arms. So we'll go ahead and push up on one. Get that folded up. Just give me one second. Um, one other thing, make sure that you uh, get it free of this little this little uh, hook right here that holds it down into place. So we'll go ahead and move it off the side and fold it up. There we go. Okay, and then we'll come over here, we'll do the other side, and there we go. So that'll allow this right here to just kind of swing down. This will actually uh, sit on the back of his legs. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take this whole section... And we're going to bring it down just like this. Now, with his waist, it can be a little bit of a trick. Uh, what I find is that if you actually take... Um, hang on one second. Give me one second. I'm going to back the camera up. All right, there we go. Now we can see a little bit better. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so what I find is that if you take these sections right here and you actually fold these out first, just kind of bring these off to the side. Do not bring them all the way forward just yet. Uh, what we're actually going to do is we're going to go ahead and get his back fixed first, and then we're going to move on to the legs. So what we'll do is you'll see that there's a panel right here, and we're going to go ahead and bring that down, and we're going to swing that out just like that. And then we're going to bend this up and link it right there. We're gonna Then we'll bring this piece forward, and we'll bring this up, bring this back up, and then swing this all the way around. And now there's a hinge right here. And you go ahead and flip that in just like that and then bring it around and you'll notice right there there is a lip and there's a groove right there go ahead and sink that right into there and there's part of optimus prime's back so we're going to come over here and we're going to do the same thing so we'll bring this partially out and we'll pop that down fold it over and bring it around right here then we'll bring this all the way forward Bring this up and then snap that around, fold this in and hook it onto that little lip right there. And there we have Optimus Prime's back all set and ready to go and it's out of the way. All right, so now we're gonna go move back down to the legs. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and come right here and we're gonna split these apart. There are two connector pins in here. Let's go ahead and pull those apart just like that. And there's those pins that I just, I just mentioned. And now what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and disconnect. This is actually the, going to be the front of Optimus Prime's waist. So what we need to do is we need to pull this down. And as we fold it forward, we need to fold it or kind of fold the legs back a bit. Just like that. And then connect that right there. Then we'll go ahead and bring this up just like that. And then um, this... Groove, this pin right here will fit into this groove right here. And then this just kind of sits on his back, just like our back of his legs, just like that. Uh, one thing you can do if you want is fold the tire back. I personally don't because that's not how it looks in the movie. So we'll go ahead and fold these up just like that. Get that put into place. All right. So now what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and split his legs apart just like that. 
And it's just held together by a little pin right here in the middle. And now what we'll do is we're going to come right here and you'll see the front part of the uh, bumper or the grill, whatever you want to call it. Go ahead and slide that out to the side. And it'll kind of, here, go ahead and, uh-oh, hold on. There we go. All right, so we slide that out to the side, which kind of expands all that. And then you turn it, and as you do, his foot will appear out of the front of the truck. And then you can either leave this flat or you can fold that up just like that. But there is Optimus Prime's leg. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and fold up his kneecap and click that into place. And there we have one of his legs ready to go. And then over here, we'll do the same thing. Come down here, we'll fold that out, turn it. There goes his foot, and then we'll flip that piece up. We'll come up here and flip up his knee and click it into place just like that. And there we have Optimus Prime's legs ready to go. So now he can actually stand up. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do his arm. All right, so for this part, it's actually uh, pretty uh, fairly easy to do. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come right here and you'll see that the, there are these panels right here. We're gonna go ahead and lift these up. And what they do is they actually are in, a, there's a little bit of a lip right here under this piece, which kind of just sits right on top of that little groove, I don't, or that little uh, nub, whatever you wanna call it. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but it's just kind of hanging off of there. Uh, so make sure you disconnect, uh, kind of remove this from that little nub first and then flip this up and turn it around just like that because that's going to be his armor plating for his shoulder. We're going to go ahead and flip this piece up right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and bring the arm out a little bit. And we're going to bring it down on the shoulder just like that. And then what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and flip this up. Go ahead and flip this panel back down and you'll see that there was a gray panel that opened by itself right there. There's Optimus Prime's hand. We'll go ahead and flip that out just like that. Close that panel. And it does kind of, it doesn't really click in. It just kind of hugs in there. And then we'll go ahead and flip this panel shut just like that. And then we'll bring his arm back down. And we'll come over here. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna pull that off of that uh, armor plate. And then we're gonna flip this around and flip this up. And he's wanting to shift a little bit. There we go. Okay, and now what we'll do is we'll bring that out, bring the arm down, just like that. And then bring this up again. And there's that other uh, gray plate that flipped open. Flip out his other arm, just or his other hand, just like that. Close that panel and flip this back down. Now, one thing that's kind of cool is that uh, he does actually have some semi posable hands. Um, they're not super articulated, but they do actually have, uh, a, the fingers, some of the fingers do kind of open up and he does have a movable thumb. So you could pose him if you wanted to. Um, it really, it's severely limited. I know that, um, for the, uh, for newer versions of Optimus, uh, they did release, um, posable hands. Like I know I actually have a set of posable hands that I got, I think they're aftermarket ones, um, that I got from my ROTF Optimus. And he even has the flip out, uh, spiked knuckles that, uh, he used on shockwave in Transformers Dark of the Moon on that, on that set. And then he has posable thumb, posable fingers. So I'll give him a little more detail and character. And then this hand over here also moves. We'll go ahead and flip those open just like that. And there's the thumb. And then finally, uh, obviously you guys will notice Optimus doesn't have a head right now. Uh, that's really simple to do. Uh, he has a similar gimmick to um, the leader class Megatron. And you'll see a switch right here. And if you push on it, Optimus Prime's head will spring up into position. You'll get some flashing lights and some cool sound effects. And anyway, so there is Optimus Prime transformed and ready to go. Like I said, personally, the 2009 version is better detailed. Um, this one's kind of a kind of a blocky version, I guess, but it's still a great design. Um, and then one other thing you can also do is that 
uh, like I said with his blaster, you'll see that he's got the little pin right here. And if you take the blaster, you go ahead and remount it on that little pin right there. Now what you can do if you want is, well, first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and flip, uh, we'll go ahead and close Optimus Prime's fist. Um, right here, you'll see that there's a little gray panel. And if you push this panel, uh, a piece will come out of here and the blaster will flip. Oops, that didn't quite work. Let's try that again. The blaster will flip around and mount up over Optimus Prime's arm. And there, now he's got his primary weapon. Um, I do know that there is another uh, version of this Optimus Prime that actually came with his sword rather than his blaster. Uh, personally, I'd love to get my hands on the sword. I just haven't been able to find it. But anyway, guys, so there is the 2007 Leader Class Optimus Prime from the first live-action Transformers movie. If you guys have any other ideas for Transformers you'd like me to try and do, feel free to comment below and even hit the like and subscribe button, and I will do what I can to help you out as we go. And until then, bye.